Welcome back to another Up North Review. We're going with our day six beer. Let me check. Yep, this was yesterday's beer. We didn't get to it, but we're doing it right now. I'd like to shout out, out shout, I think Matt says, to the Spooner Rodeo for these wonderful can koozies. We Everybody love Everybody goes to Spooner Rodeo. You never been to Spooner Rodeo, you better head up north. Get Good there. Good time. Good time. Uh, I don't remember what the name of this beer is. But I'm pretty sure it's a sour, smoothie sour. I did do the can roll, so don't worry. Beer schnobs of the world, internets, going for the pour. Oh, I like the color. I'm going to like this one, I can tell you. Yep. Tell you already, I'm going to like it. It's got that brewing project look yep. to it. It's going to be like a, a smoothie. Got to say, I'm really excited. There's a Hoosiers beer in this advent calendar. Ooh. That's one of my favorite breweries. They make some dynamite smoothie seltzers so this is the yacht club beer i do remember the name of it now and we're gonna give it a cheers a little sample cheers <clears throat> a lot of fruit yeah a lot of fruit flavor i think i think it was like, oh i think it was like raspberry cherry all sorts of flavors to it it's very good. Granola, raspberry, cinnamon, almonds, brown sugar, trail mix. Interesting. Trail and mix. black cherry. I don't get the trail mix. I definitely get the cherry, which I really like. Like a Door County tart cherry kind of thing. That's pretty tasty. I can taste the raspberry. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in this trail mix, though. I don't taste trail mix. I don't taste the cinnamon. Like Matt talked a lot about cinnamon. Don't taste brown that. Brown sugar, almonds. Brown I sugar. I taste a little brown sugar, maybe. I don't know. I would drink that beer. Very, very good to be out. Very good beer. Smoothie beer. Pretty tasty. From 450 out of Illinois, I believe. Columbus, Illinois. I wonder if that's better than Columbus, Ohio. Can't be. Ohio's the worst state in America. <laughs> I didn't say that. Matt's shirt said that. Not me. Matt's t-shirt. So don't be mad at me, Ohioans. You guys got the Football Hall of Fame. You got some good things going for you. But it's what it is. Big Ten. Big Ten maybe win the national championship. Probably not. Georgia's going to win by 40. Go dogs. Go dogs. Just so you know, I picked up a new hobby tonight at Knitting Club. I am knitting a, knitting a washcloth. So, mm -hmm. new hobby. This hat is my daughter's and it also won't stay on my big head. This hat, signed by Miss Wisconsin Rodeo Queen. Yep, from the Spooner Rodeo. Pretty big deal, pretty big deal. Well? Yeah, I am. What would you give it? I can't do this. I think it's a good seltzer. Um... A good flavor, or sorry, a good a good smoothie beer. Uh, I'm gonna give it a four. Ooh, I'm a little low on it. I, I like the flavors, but I, it's kind of dying off on me. I'm gonna give it a four. Four point oh. Let me get another taste there. Let me get another taste there. I'm a little higher. Four point two five. I like 4 that. Four point two five. Yep. Not bad. That's, that's my type of beer right there. Really good beer. But I don't know if I, I don't know if I could put up in the fives like Matt and Mikey. Every beer is my type of beer. Now, we're going right into the seltzer. Brought to you by Aldi, pretty much Trader Joe's brother from Germany or whatever. It's still the the no no, no brand, the no name steak brand, yep, no name hard steaks. seltzer. This delightful little gem, tropical citrus. I don't know what kind of tropical citrus they're putting in here. Did no prior research. But it still has no glutens. So for you yeah. people that don't like gluten glutens, free. this seltzer's for you. We'll let you know how it tastes, so. I'm just more worried about knit one, pearl two over here. All right, knit one, pearl two. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ooh, hmm. Ooh, I can smell it. A lot of aroma. We get this. This What's happened. This like? happened the other night. We had a lot of aroma, mm -hmm. but it was very. I don't want to say. I don't want to say a sunscreen smell, but like. 
No, I think it smells like that, like, um, vitamin C thing that we take. Oh, like emer emergency. The emergency. Yeah, yeah. Well, cheers. Give it a taste. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of feel like I'm drinking like a, a sun kiss. With carbonation. Carbonated sun kiss orange juice. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. Like the sun kiss pop. Like orange. Oh, so it would have carbonation. <laughs> yeah, don't worry like... about it. What am I thinking? Sunny D. I'm thinking Sunny D. Don't worry about like, it. I'm pretty sure sun kiss yeah, does yeah, have yeah. carbonation in yeah, it. Yeah, it's not bad. No. I don't. It just kind of tastes like orange to me. And maybe that is a citrus fruit. Citrus. It's got a pineapple and a lime on it. Mm. I don't know. I think I taste a little lime. Let me be mm. I don't I really taste. The, I could get the hint of lime. Yeah. It's like a lime slash orange juice. It's just very tropically, to be honest. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. The seltzers were going downhill in a hurry. This has kind of come back a little bit. It brings it back up. Seltzer scale, I'm gonna give it a 3.0. It's drinkable. I, it Maybe pontoon crushable, oh, halfway best. pontoon crushable. I think, it, I think it's pontoon crushable. <sighs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what is the alcohol content in it? 5.0, just like, oh. yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I'd give it a 3.75. Yeah. I like it. Well. Um, that's all we got. We'll be back for day seven. Have a great evening, everyone. Cheers.